Raising a ladder. A ladder carried by a fire truck is L equals 20.0 meters long. The ladder weighs W equals 3400 newtons and its center of gravity is at its center. The ladder is pivoted at one end at point A here about a pin. Ignore the friction torque at the pin. The ladder is raised into position by a force applied by a hydraulic piston at point C. So this applies a force at point C. Point C is delta X equals 8.0 meters from point A. And the force F exerted by the piston makes an angle theta of 40 degrees with the ladder. What magnitude must F have to just lift the ladder off the support bracket at B? Start with a free body diagram of the ladder. So we want to just lift the ladder. Okay, <clears throat> so let's take a look here. Uh, we have this pivot point, point A. Uh, there is no friction torque on this pivot point. We have uh, the force applied by the hydraulic lift at point C at an angle 40 degrees with respect to the horizontal. This is the theta, angle theta. The total length of the ladder is 20 meters. The force F is applied 8 meters from the pivot point, but the uh, ladder is uniform so, so that its center of gravity is right in the middle, 10 meters from the two ends. And we are about to lose contact at point B by applying this force. So th this will apply a torque with respect to the pivot point, And this ladder will lift and lose contact at point B. So we are interested in what happens just as it loses the contact. Okay, so what I would like to do is first start with the free body diagram of the ladder. Now you can see that at point A I have a contact, so there will be a vertical and horizontal contact force in general, and uh, vertical component and horizontal component. Uh, now this force F is applied at 8 meters from the pivot point. The total length is 20 meters, so it is 2L over 5. 2 times 20, 40 over 5, 8 meters. 2L over 5 from point A. The force F is applied at an angle theta with respect to the horizontal. And the weight of the ladder is at the center of gravity, a distance L over 2 from the pivot point. And if I set up my coordinate system like this, x-axis is where the ladder lies initially, y-axis is the vertical axis, and z-axis is coming out of the page. Now, in order to find the magnitude of the force F necessary to just lose contact, when I lose contact, obviously the normal force is disappearing, so I don't draw a normal force here because um, there's no contact force. Um, I want to write an equation which does not involve unknown forces, uh, contact forces at point A. So what I want to do as a strategy is, in order to eliminate the unknown contact force at the pivot point which is point A I want to consider the net torque with respect to point A. Okay, so how do I find the rotational effect of these two forces, F and W? Well, I go from the pivot point to the point of application of the force. This is uh, 2L over 5. 
then I, I uh, consider the perpendicular component of the force, F sine theta. So 12 over 5 multiplied with F sine theta. Now using the right hand rule, because torque is equal to R cross with F. So if this is my vector R uh, originating from here, the head, uh, the tip is here. So this is R and this is F. Using the right hand rule, four fingers point in the direction of R from point A towards the point of application of the force. Curl them, curl your four fingers towards the force F. The thumb points into the page, which means it is minus k hat direction. It's pointing into the page. So I have minus 2L over 5 minus 2L over 5. The force F sine theta, the perpendicular component. So uh, R and F perpendicular to each other, perpendicular component of F. Uh, and the magnitude of R is 12 over 5. It's minus because it's in minus k hat direction. Now, on the other hand, if I consider the torque due to this weight, now my R vector has a magnitude L over 2, pointing from point A to the center of gravity. Uh, right hand four fingers point for, uh, towards the center of gravity, going from point A, the four fingers curl towards the weight, the thumb points out of the page, cons um, implying that the torque is, um, basically, torque vector is out of the page. So this is trying to uh, rotate it in this direction, this is trying to rotate it in this direction. The sense of rotation is opposite. You can see this is clockwise, this is counterclockwise. So with that, for the torque due to this weight, I write plus L over 2 multiplied by W because already the angle between R and the uh, weight is 90 degrees here. So this should be equal to 0 at equilibrium. So that's just when I lose contact. So this gives me, if I uh, cancel the L's here, 2f over uh, 2 over 5 f sine theta is equal to w over 2 the weight divided by 2 so i find the force magnitude f to be 5w 5w divided by 4 sine theta so this should be the magnitude of the force. Now I have some numbers here. Uh, so I can substitute W is equal to 3400 newtons. Sine theta is sine 40. Uh, with that, the force becomes 5 times uh, 3000 400 divided by 4 times sine 40 and this gives me a force of 6.6 .6 kilo newtons. So that would be my final answer for the numerical value of the magnitude of the force. Okay, so in this problem we have considered raising a ladder uh, in order to raise the ladder, we apply a force with a hydraulic lift at point C, making an angle 40 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Uh, just when it loses contact with point B, uh, the, that normal force goes to zero at point B, uh, we want to know uh, what should be the minimum magnitude of this force F in order to achieve this task. So that is basically saying that I have the contact force at point A, the pivot point, F at an angle theta with respect to the horizontal, the weight is at the center because uh, the center of gravity is at the center, it's a uniform ladder. And uh, 
<clears throat> the force F is applied at a distance 2L over 5 from the pivot point and the weight is uh, at the uh, uh, center of gravity which is at a distance L over 2 from the pivot point. So the torque, uh, I, I consider the torque with respect to this pivot point because I don't want to deal with these two unknown uh, forces, well, there's only one force here, but the vertical and horizontal components, contact force, and there is no uh, friction torque. Uh, so I consider the torque due to this force F as R cross F. So R cross F gives me a clockwise uh, sense of rotation, 2L over 5 times F sine theta uh, in minus k hat direction. And then R cross F for the weight gives me L over 2 times W, but this time the sense of rotation is uh, clockwise. So that's going to give me, this is uh, counterclockwise. So this is clockwise, this is counterclockwise. So this is going to have a plus sign. So minus 2L over 5 F sine theta plus L over 2 W gives me the force F to be 5 W over 4 sine theta. When I substitute the numbers, I reach the final answer, 6.6 kilonewtons.